What's up outdoorsman Greg here and today I'm going all over the ropes that I use for saddle hunting. This is a question that gets asked a lot. What type of rope do I need? How strong should it be? What type of knots do I need to know? Should I splice the rope? Should I use the figure eight on a bite? Should I use an overhand knot? All of these questions people are asking about the ropes that we use for saddle hunting and it's actually pretty simple. The most important thing is that you use a climbing rated rope, something that is rated for, you know, 5,000, 6,000, 7, 8,000 pounds, something very heavy duty. You wanna use that in a nice heavy diameter uh, to make sure that it's strong and it's safe. Now in the past, I've used this 11 millimeter assault blue water line. It's nice and stiff uh, and I use it on a figure eight on a bite. That's what I've used in the past. However, this year I'm switching to a half inch diameter double braid with a spliced eye. There are really four reasons why I'm switching to a spliced eye this year. Lightweight, bulk, strength, and last user friendliness. Number one, weight. When you tie a big figure eight knot on a bite, that requires about 18 to 24 extra inches of rope. Now that may not be much. Most climbing ropes weigh about an ounce per foot. So if you take an extra two foot of rope, that means you're adding a couple ounces to your weight, to the weight of the rope. That may not be a big deal to you, but ounces add up to pounds. So if you're taking extra ounces in your rope and then extra ounces in your carabiners and extra ounces in you know, your pack and those ounces add up to pounds. So it's important to watch your ounces wherever you can. So a splice saves you a few ounces here and there and that matters to me. Second reason is bulk. When you tie a figure eight on a bite, that takes a lot of extra rope which equals bulk. That knot is a lot bigger than a splice so it's harder to pack, takes up more room. It's just a little bit bulkier and I prefer to cut out as much weight and bulk wherever I can. Third is strength. Whenever you tie a knot in a climbing rope, you reduce its strength by some percentage. The experts say anywhere from 20 to 40%. So if you've got a 6,000 pound climbing rope, and let's say you go right in the middle at 30% of reduction in strength, you're knocking off 2,000 pounds the weight rating of your rope. Now, maybe not a big deal, it still holds you know, 4,000 pounds, which is plenty for us, but if you're looking to maximize your strength to weight ratio, you wanna do everything in your power to retain all the strength of that rope. And a splice generally can retain you know, 90 to 100% of the strength of that rope. So, you're saving weight, you're saving bulk, plus you're getting the maximum strength out of your rope. Now all three of those reasons add up to my fourth reason, which is probably the most important, and it's user friendliness. A light, packable, less bulky rope is easier to deal with in the tree, it's easier to deal with in your pack, it's easier to put in your storage accessories, it just works better, so it's more user friendly. Plus, I like to girth hitch my lineman belt directly to my lineman belt on my tree saddle, and that's way easier. I get to eliminate a carabiner, which means it's even lighter, it's even more user friendly. I'm reducing that uh, possibility of noise for that extra carabiner. The girth hitch stays right on my hip. It's there at all times. It stores right in my pouch, right on my hip. It's great. It's super user friendly and these splices are very easy to deal with. And for my tree tether, a nice five inch spliced eye on my tree tether makes it really easy to fit my carabiner and my ropeman through when I get to hunting height. It's very easy to install on the tree and it's just more simple to use than big bulky knots. So those are the four reasons why I am switching to spliced ropes this year. I think it makes a lot of sense, stronger, lighter, more packable, easier to use. And now I'm gonna show you exactly how I use these ropes when I get to the tree and it's time to hunt. Once I'm ready to climb the tree, first thing I do is I pass my lineman belt around the tree and hook up. This allows me to stay safe, connected to the tree during the entire climb. Plus, it gives me the ability to use my hands to hang my climbing sticks, tie the knot on my wild edge steps. Whatever climbing method I'm using, a lineman belt makes it safer and easier to use. Now a lot of folks use a prussic knot on their lineman belt and it works. It's adjustable, uh, it takes two hands to do it, but a prussic knot is time tested, it's safe, it definitely works. It's just not very user friendly. 
What I like to use is a Ropeman 1 ascender on my Lyman belt. It's truly one-handed in operation. You can tighten the rope, you can loosen the rope, all with one hand, and it's very user-friendly. It's ultra lightweight, and it makes no noise because of the way that it attaches to the carabiner on the rope. There's always pressure, zero noise, it doesn't rattle, it's perfect. I love the Ropeman 1 on my Lyman belt. Once I get to hunting height, before I climb onto my platform with my lineman belt still attached to the tree so I'm safely connected, I'll go ahead and tie my tether to the tree. Now, tying is, is not an, an accurate statement. You don't actually tie a knot. It's just a girth hitch or a lark's head. You pass your splice tie around the tree, feed your free end of rope and carabiner and ropeman if you're using a ropeman ascender to adjust your tether easily. Pass that through the five inch loop and then you are ready to hook up to your bridge on your saddle and you are 100% connected to the tree. At this point in time, I undo my lineman belt, put it right back on my sis hauler pouch that sits on my hip. It's out of the way, it's quiet, it doesn't interfere with my shot and it's a great way to manage your ropes. No matter if you're using splice dies, you're tying knots, whatever type of climbing rope you choose to use, just make sure you're getting a strong, durable, safe rope. The most important thing is safety. So make sure you're using the right kind of rope. And then, you know, from there, you got to decide for you what makes the most sense. Does it make sense to go light and packable? Do you trust knots more? It's up to you. Me, I'm choosing a splice die for all the reasons that I've talked about in this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you checking it out. Look at some of my hunting and fishing videos. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I certainly appreciate it. And you guys go outside and go hiking and biking and hunting and fishing and camping and hammocking and climbing and skiing and all of those things that help get you outdoors. Mm -hmm.